Okay, contenders. Hey guys, Zero Eleven here, and today got a hobby box of Ten Eleven <laughs> Panini Playoff Contenders. So, Panini Contenders. This is the first year for contenders for hockey. It was Panini's first year for hockey as well, but contenders. This one features five cards a pack, twenty-four packs per box. They switched it to 18 the year after for 11, 12, but a lot of packs in here. There is a 165 card base set with veterans, legends, and rookies available. There are playoff tickets, number two hundred. Like that Nazem Kadri right there, that's a playoff ticket. You can find those, and there's also championship tickets that are one of ones. Now it's contenders, it's all about the autos. We're getting four autos in this box. I believe three of them are gonna be rookie ticket autos and then one wild card auto. So there's 50 rookie autos. I'm not too huge on 1011 as a crop. There's uh, Taylor Hall, Tyler Sagan, PK, Kadri, Jeff Skinner, Nick Letty, Ryan Reeves, uh, Jake Muzzin. Jordan Eberle, there's just a bunch of decent ones like Braden Shen, Nino Niederreiter, Derek Stepan, Robin Leonard, Babrowski, OEL, Marcus Johansson, Johansson. So yeah, a bunch of solid players that have been great in the past, but I have my doubts they'll be Hall of Famers. Like Subban has a Norris, I don't think he's gonna be a Hall of Famer. Taylor Hall has the Hart Trophy, and it's rare to see players that get the Hart Trophy not go in the Hall, but I don't know if he's gonna make it to the Hall of Fame. Baroski has a couple Veznas, he might make it, but he's kind of declined fast. But yeah, apart from the rookies, there is a bunch of inserts in here. And there's one that's eerily familiar to 1920 credentials. It's called Against the Glass. So here is the uh, credentials through the boards, and here is Panini's through the glass. Pretty similar, I would say, but keep an eye out for those. Pretty much every insert in here has like an auto version. Like an awards contenders, you can get the regular version, you get the auto version. On top of that, there's Leather Larceny, something I'm looking out for. Also has auto version, looks interesting there. Now another thing to point out, I'm pretty sure there isn't books like that. That's pretty much the jackpot for opening older contenders hockey, getting a crazy booklet like that. But there are NHL Inc. quads. They're two-sided cards. There's some good potential in there. They're only numbered to five though, so they're a very tough pull, but we'll keep an eye out for them. Also, there's look for one of one golden tickets made of actual gold. The only problem, they are redemptions. And Panini will no longer honor expired redemptions across the board. I will touch on that the next time I open a Panini box, but yeah, if we get a redemption, it's useless. You can't get anything from it. But yeah, 1011 contenders should be getting some good autograph content in here. And before I continue, this box cost 95 Canadian, which is $35 more than the 1112 box. So a bit steeper, but might as well check it out. So yeah, let's open this up. All right, let's open this up here. Oh, I got the checklist like that. So there's a checklist. Season tickets. And then you got your classic tickets. There's your rookie tickets, rookie of the year contenders. There's all the inserts there. The legend auto potential is fantastic. I should have pointed that out, but I'm pretty sure most of those guys there have autographs in here, which is pretty sweet. So that's a big thing to look out for. But And there's the uh, NHL Inc. quads. You can tell who's with who because it only goes to 32, but there's a lot more 32 names there, but there you go. All right, and here are the packs. Wow, they look nice. So let's take them out here. Oh, geez, okay. So right off the bat, there must be filler cards because we got two thick packs there. And I'm assuming there's two thick ones here. Yeah, there's two thick ones here, okay. So it looks like there are filler packs, even though I don't think there are patch cards in here, which is kind of disappointing. That's why I think 11, 12 is better, but yeah. Let's open it up here. All right, Panini. Hopefully, jeez, not every which way. All right, so here's the base. There was just a season ticket there. Last year, the Thrashers, we got Andrew Ladd. Season ticket. There you go. Andrew Ladd, there's a base card. I mean, the base isn't really similar to Credentials. Credentials base is definitely different, but there are some other similar things. And credentials to contenders that I will point out once we pull them, if we pull them. But yeah, asides from the against the glass. But yeah, there's Lad, there's Phil, season ticket. This is a regular one. In. Okay, here we go. There's a classic ticket. There we go. I think that's just a base, right? Joe Newendike, seasons 20, number 25. Founded 1974. There you go, Joe Newendike. It's not numbered, it's just card number 114 there. There we got Jeff Carter. And Josh Bailey. 
Okay, next pack of 10-11 contenders. Okay, contenders. Okay, Kopitar. There is Louis Erickson and what do we got here? Okay, lottery winners. I'm pretty sure you can get a Crosby auto from lottery winners, but there is Jordan Stahl. It was a Penn's pick in 06, second overall. There you go, Jordan Stahl. So there are auto versions of this. Like every insert in here, you can get auto versions of these inserts. So yeah, there is Stahl, lottery winners. Okay. There's John Tavares, second year Tavares there, and Miko Koivu. And I should have pointed out before, but it says what building they play in. So XL Energy Center for Minnesota there, established in 2000. And then it says a season opener for that season. So that's cool. And position center, he's number nine, and he's played six seasons. Also says the division there. It's not the central, it's the northwest back then, but yeah, there you go. Okay, next pack up. All right. All right, there's Milan Lucic, there's Daniel Sedin, and TJ Oshi. season ticket. Wait, it's just a base pack? I guess there's base packs in here. TJ Oshi who's a rookie in 0809. There's Ryan Smith and Pavel Datsuk. Okay, next pack of contenders. I haven't pulled much so far, but we'll see. Eric Stahl, there's Nathan Horton, there's a Henrik Sedin, this season ticket, and another season ticket. Ryan Callahan and Thomas Placanics. Okay. Next pack up. Okay. There's Sidney Crosby. There is Dwayne Rolson on the Lightning. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals that year and almost took out the Bruins. Almost. I do remember Rolson on the Lightning there. And then we got something here. We got a green. There's Brent Johnson. And <laughs> Sean Avery still on the Rangers there. Okay, we got a, that's a Tyler Ennis, okay. Rookie of the Year contenders, Tyler Ennis. Okay, he was a rookie in 09-10. But there you go, that was number 50, it's a green. There you go, number 9 of 50. Ennis, Rookie of the Year contenders, okay. All right, next pack up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> there he is, Uncle Todd on the wings, Uncle Todd. There we go. There's Cam Ward, and what do we got here? Oh, these are cool. Legendary contenders. Bernie Perrant, Philadelphia Flyers goalie. There you go, Bernie Perrant. There you go. It's a cool looking insert. You can get auto versions of this. That'd be sweet to get an auto version of these legendary contenders. Bunch of legends on them. You got Matthew Guerin and Duncan Keith. Okay. All right, going on here with contenders. 10-11 contenders. All right, Nicholas Berg fours, John Carlson, and just a base pack, Jonathan Taze, Tim Thomas, and Corey Schneider. All right, next pack up. Okay, a lot of base packs. I'm kind of glad they went down to 18 packs a year after, but there's Nicholas Backstrom, Henrik Zetterberg, Patrick Kane, just plain base here, Mike Camilleri, and Nick Lidstrom. All right. I haven't got a playoff ticket yet. The one's number 200. I'm assuming they're foily like Kadri there, but there's that. There's Marty St. Louis. Got Nicholas Backstrom. Here's another insert. The Great Outdoors. Big buff. He's been terminated by the Jets, but there's him in the Winter Classic as a member of the Chicago Blackhawks against Detroit Red Wings in 2009. I watched that game. So there's that. There you go, big buff. Not numbered or anything. There's Ryan Whitney and Steve Ott. All right, going on here. Okay. There's Mika Kiprasov. There's Ryan Getzlaff and, oh, ah, hmm. Draft Tandems, 1980. This is a cool insert. A lot of great potential in here. But this one, we got Paul Coffey and Denny Savard, 1980. Definitely a basic insert though. You definitely need the autos on these though. It looks very bare without autos, but there you go. Coffee and Savard. Then we got Zach Parise and Drew Doughty. Okay, next pack up. All right. Chris Letang, Henrik Lundqvist, legendary contenders. Brett Hall on the stars, Brett Hall. There you go, Brett Hall talks about the 1999, eh, Sabres fans? There's Derek Broussard and Thomas Vanek. Okay, I mean, we're a lot of packs in, not a single autograph. Okay, I mean, I'll take a quad auto and just 
have that as my autos, but there's Jonathan Quick. Uncle Todd, another base of Uncle Todd. Oh, got the first auto. Looks like a goalie. There's Michael Neuverth. Yaroslav Halak. So we got a goalie pack with Uncle Todd. So here's the first auto. It's Dekanich, or who the heck is that? How the heck did I know that? There's Mark Dekanich, rookie ticket auto. There you go, these aren't numbered. I mean, look at the resemblance. It seems like Credential's inspiration was definitely 10, 11 contenders. It has to be. Like the size of where you put the auto is almost identical. The writing's off to the left for Credential's. Then again, the player's on the left, but still, very similar. But yeah, there's a Dekanich, there's the first auto. Not a great one. Okay, next pack up. First auto is not great. That is expected though. With this stuff, there's a lot of bad autos, but there's J.S. Jaguar. He got two shutouts in his first two games as a member of the Maple Leafs. There's Patrick Marlowe and another auto right off the bat here. The team is at 1970. So let's, uh, Brand Sutter and Evander Kane. Okay, next auto. Team that came in in 1970. So is it Sabres, Canucks? Uh, Sabres, okay. Luke Adam. So that's a mad one. Hmm. Luke Adam. That is expected. There you go. On card, though. Just like credentials, it's on card, but there you go. All right, next pack up. This one's thick. It's definitely a filler, but we'll find out right now. Yeah, okay. See if there's anything in here. There's Chris Neal. There's Kerry Price. And perennial contenders. Henrik Sedin. Perennial contenders. There you go. Not numbered or anything. There's Mike Smith and Ryan Klo. All right, let's do the other filler pack. I wonder if they put nothing in the filler packs deliberately. And again, when it's not a filler pack, then it's going to be a thick card, whatever that could be. I don't know what it could be, but there's Cam Ward, Nicholas Bergfors, John Carlson, Zabanek McCulloch, and Brandon Dubinsky. Okay, so we got two autos thus far. Not great. Not great. Okay. All right, Nikolai Hybibulin. There's Chris Stewart, Derek Roy. Freaking Daniel Alfredson and Matthew Lombardi. Still need two autos. I'm hoping the not rookie auto is gonna be good. That's the main hope right now. Because it looks like we're getting a bunch of not so great rookie autos here, but there's Timo Solani. There's Mikhail Grabowski, and what's this? Oh, another Rookie of the Year contenders, Matthias Tenby. Rookie of the Year contenders, that's just a base one. Not numbered or anything. Then we got Jumbo Joe and Chris Pronger. Yeah, they're in the same pack. Hmm. Okay, next pack up here. Two more autos. Let's see if we get them here. Okay, Jonathan Taze. Looks like we got one here. There's Slanny again. There's Jason Spezza, Heater, Danny Heatley. Okay, Heater, give us some luck here. Okay, wait, it's not an auto, it's a PAB. Is it a PK uh, playoff ticket? What the heck? Maybe. Yep, <laughs> it's a PK playoff ticket. There you go, 29 of 100. PK. He has fallen off a cliff. He should just hurry up and get into the entertainment business because it seems like he's much better at that than hockey at this point, but <laughs> there's PK. Okay. All right, next pack up of contenders. Got a playoff ticket, number 200 of one of the top rookies, so it's not too bad. There's Joe Pavelski. Uh, what do we got here? Is there another rookie auto? There's Drew. Might be. Okay, we got Matt Cullen and Thomas Vokun. And if it's a rookie auto, is it? Ah, okay. It's a decent one. Kyle Clifford. Season ticket. Okay. LA Kings there. It's on the Leafs now. He plays a heavy game. I do like the way he plays. Nice on-card auto there, Clifford. There you go. First decent one. Broke in pretty young. I think he was like a teenager back then. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he was like 19 back then. So, Kyle Clifford. Good one. All right. That's a solid one there. Only worth a couple bucks, but still pretty solid. Okay. Continuing on here. There's Jonas Gustafsson, the monster. Please don't be an auto. We got Gino Malkin. It might be. All right, what do we got here? There's Jimmy Howard and Matt Duchesne. Ah, it's an auto. OK, 
Okay, we'll at least be saying, yeah. no, it's Kyle Palmieri, rookie auto, Kyle Palmieri. Yeah, that's not bad. Palmieri's good, he's consistent. He'll get you 25 goals, he'll get you like 50 to 60 points. That's a solid one there. There you go, Kyle Palmieri. That's decent, not great though. So there's that. All right, carry on here. This should be a filler. Yeah, maybe we'll get more than four autos, we'll see. Oh, we got Leather Larceny, I think. Can't talk today. Burroughs, David Backus, yep. Yeah. Leather Larceny, Dwayne Rollison. First we got Miller, Roberto Luongo. So yeah, Leather Larceny, Dwayne Rollison. It kind of feels like leather, I guess, a little bit. So it's interesting, nice looking insert there. Dwayne Rollison. There are auto versions of this, so there's that. Okay, final three packs of contenders. So far, it's just been, eh, in general, but eh, there's Marty Brodeur, Elish Hamsky, Rick Nash, there's a filler, there's Brad Richards, and Rene Bork. Second last pack, not expecting much. Okay, but we'll see. Billy Leno, Ilya Kovalchuk, Against the Glass, Steve Ott, Alex Steen, and Mike Richards. There's definitely a similarity here. They're both clear cards. Yeah, credentials definitely copy contenders. I don't know why I have to keep on saying it. It's pretty darn obvious. So there's that. And the final pack. Maybe there is an auto in here. Maybe not. I already got four. There's Drew McGinla, Corey Perry, and uh, Ward's Contenders. Okay, there's Ovi and Stamkos. Okay, it's Nick Lidstrom. Uh, it's not signed, but there's a James Norris Memorial Trophy of Nick Lidstrom. There you go. Nick Lidstrom. So yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 1011 Panini Contenders. I mean, honestly, not really worth it. Two okay autos, and these don't really go for much, and these are just not great. So honestly, not that great of a box. Nothing will ever top the 11-12 box, and I know that. But I enjoyed going back and looking at some contenders again. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more breaks to come. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.